Hey guys, my name is Swasti and welcome to Wealth the Cat. So because of this recent COVID-19 pandemic, quite a lot of stocks in the market have actually crashed and gone down, right? And Capital Land Limited was one of those companies that have been affected because of this pandemic. And today we'll talk about the four key things you should know about this company before you invest in Capital Land. <music> So the reason why I decided to talk about Capital Land Limited today is because it's one of Asia's largest real estate group. So their portfolio actually spans across diversified real estate classes um, such as commercial, retail, business park, industrial and logistics and integrated development, urban development, as well as lodging and residential. So the first key thing you should know is that they have lower retail sales and NPI growth. All right, we know that this COVID-19 situation actually caused uh, lockdowns all over the world. And in Singapore, we have the circuit breaker where a lot of malls were actually losing business and capital and malls were definitely one of them. So in Singapore and Malaysia, only essential services were kept open. Then moving on, we had China where there was a full closure for a certain period of time and then slowly um, things were eased and quite a fair bit of malls were actually opened back again. Then last but not least, we have Japan where malls did stay open throughout this whole period. But of course, there's a lot less traffic um, and they did make quite a fair bit of losses. So this is not good news for Capital Land, right? We know that the traffic is quite low because of this whole COVID-19 pandemic. And even after some of these lockdowns and restrictions are lifted, there's no saying that, you know, this traffic will go back to the original levels. So it's something that you should take into consideration before you consider purchasing capital land shares. So the second key thing to note is that the lodging properties are affected. So we know that because of this whole COVID-19 pandemic, um, there's serious lockdowns all over the world, there's travel restrictions, and Capital Land literally owns and manages 730 properties. So I don't see how they will be making any profit or any gains in the short term because they aren't exactly getting any business. So the reduced global travel demand is definitely going to affect Capital Land's business at least um, in the next few months and it is something that you should take note before you consider consider buying this stock. Okay, so let's move on, right? This is something that really caught my eye because I know that um, Capital Land is facing a lot of issues uh, regarding their business because of this whole COVID-19 pandemic, but their financials were really attractive, right? It would make every investor think twice. So first, they are well equipped with $13 billion in cash and available undrawn facilities. So next, let's take a look at the financial ratio. So as of 22nd May, the price to book ratio is only 0.6, which is much lesser than 1, and their P ratio is only 6.55 which is extremely low. So after looking at these numbers, um, the stock might actually be undervalued right now. So as a conclusion, I don't think it's any secret that Capital Land's business is seriously affected by this whole COVID-19 pandemic, despite them having really strong financials. For example, in Singapore, circuit breaker measures are actually going to be eased soon, so this might provide some hope for the stock to actually go up. But just note that, you know, this whole COVID-19 pandemic is um, something that the entire world has not been through before. So we don't know what is going to happen in the next few months. And there is a high level of uncertainty when you're going to be buying any stock. So just buy any stock with your own risk, you know, um, do your own research. And I hope that this video kind of helps you decide whether you want to buy Capital Land stocks or not. So if you like this video, do give a like, um, leave a comment down below what you think and what videos you want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to investing, I would suggest taking a look at this book. It's one of my latest addition to one of the many books that I own about investing. And I thought that it was pretty simple to read for a beginner investor you know with everything broken down nicely so i will leave a link for this book down in the description below if you're interested and with that i'll see you next time